Yo guys what's up it's Krebs and welcome to another Destiny video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Stompies exotic in a fashion set. So I'm going to be going over all of the ornaments for the Stompies. So I'm going to split this video into segments for each ornament for these boots. Now the Stompies exotic also known in game as the Stomp EE5 is an exotic which buffs your sprint speed, slide distance and jump height. Now these boots are very good for movement in general and it's why a lot of people use them. So now moving on to the base look for the Stompies. Here it is upon close inspection. Now the reason why these are quite difficult to use in fashion is because there's an unshadable blue on the sides here and also this white. So no matter how dark a shader goes on it, it will not work. So I recommend if you are going with a black set that you pair it with a little bit of white somewhere. I've used it here on the cloak with the memory of cave cloak. Now if you do want to know what arm I am using, I'm using the dragonfly regalia on the helmet from Eververse Archive. The arms of the Lux sleeves from the Eververse Archive, the chest plate is the Vest of the Great Hunt from the Last Wish Raid, and the cloak is the Memory of Cake cloak. And then for this blacked out look, I went with Amethyst Veil, vale, which drops from Eververse Engrams and can sometimes be sold in the Brightest store. So yeah, for an all black, I would highly recommend using the Memory of Cade, as it creates a nice contrast, and also works really well with the set. Now the other Last Wish pieces also look really nice in an all black set. Although the only problem with a helmet is that it has this god lining, so I like the dragonfly as it like, you know, it's quite dark in general. Now another thing I see a lot of people use is like cloth and leather pieces on the other pieces of gear, which does not work well with stompies as I'll show you now with the Insight Rover. So this will be used in the example. So as you can see here, even if this was like a full black, it would not match well at all because the actual like armor itself isn't like plated which especially works well with stompies as it does have plating so the only exception for this i'd say is the lux vest this is like the only exception to this rule um, but i'd still try and avoid this as if you want the set to match better you do want to use plated gear so as for some pieces like on the chest plate here we have the holdfast from legendary engrams the flowing from the prophecy now this really only works with light shaders and the errant knight which also only works with light shaders and this can drop from legendary engrams but for an all black set i'd recommend using the vest of the great hunt or the hold fast vest as they are both plated gear and they match very nicely with the stompies and that brings me on to why i use the lux arms is because again they're plating now other shaders if you do want to make a darker set um, pretty much would be metro shift but on some pieces like this chest plate does add a bit of blue but in general I would recommend Amethyst Veil. Vale. Now another one could be Shrouded Stripes, although this is very rare as it was from a Forsaken promotion which you can no longer get. Now as for white looks, as I know a lot of you will want to know, so here is Rivalry Resolute. Now this looks absolutely amazing for an all white look with Stompies and if you don't know the Guardian Games event is coming so this shader will become available again and this is from a Triumph during the Guardian Games event so I will make a video when the Guardian game starts and how you can get this shader. I want to show monochromatic as a lot of people may mention this but this does not work well as it does add a lot of black. So what I would recommend is Callus is selected if you have it from the normal Leviathan raid. Now this is no longer obtainable but if you do have this I would recommend it. Although it does add a little bit of gold. And then other shaders I recommend is Gift Unline and Honors Unline. But these shaders are no longer obtainable as they did come from Charles and Nine in year one. So yeah, I'm going to go over a bunch of shaders I really like with these boots. So the first one being Carbon Blood, as you can see. Now this was introduced last season and can sometimes be sold in the Brightest store. Abyssinian Gold is another one I like for a darker look and this can sometimes be sold in the Brightest store. Crimson Valor is a really nice red. And this is from the Crimson Days event, which is the Valentine's event for the game. New Age Black Armory is another nice one, which was from Forges, and this is no longer obtainable. Then Oil Gun Metal, which can sometimes be sold in the Bright Dust Store, is a nice lighter tone to it. Then we have Dawning Festiveness from the Dawning, which is the Christmas event, and this gives us a nice blue. Then another nice red, which is Carminica, which is from the Season of Arrivals Crucible Pursuit. Then we have Gold Leaf from the Menagerie, which is no longer in the game. And the final one is Dreaming Spectrum, which is also from the Last Wish Raid. I think this gives off a really nice colour on all the armour here. This is pretty much it for the base stompies and now we're going to be moving on to how you can be using the turbo kickers ornament. So as you can see these are the turbo kickers ornament here with amethyst veil. Vale. So when I go no shader as you can see no matter what shader I use it will fully shader 
all the pieces except for the little blue bits here so this is a lot better than the original in the fact that you will not have an unshadable white although you will have these wires exposed which are not shaderable now the only little bit of white i can see on these boots which are non-shaderable is this top part here as you can see and it's on both sides now with these it's not too much different from the normal stompies again you can pretty much stick with the same sort of gear but if you really want to like match the whole theme of it hold fast pieces do not look bad at all now again don't go with anything cloth like um, as you can see here it doesn't look that good but like going with some tech like gear could also look quite nice but like i said on the base stompies look um pretty much just stick with hard plating you don't really need to change too much now i do find these boots to work better on lighter shaders so again as you can see this is precursive x chrome doesn't look too bad with it but what I particularly like is the calluses selected as these give off a nice look with uh, gold and the white and then again like I showed off with the original ornament you want to use rivalry resolute if you are looking for an all white look now the R3 treads ornament is the newest ornament to come to the stompies and I think this is easily the hardest one to work with as you know they have their own sort of theme to them and not a lot of gear work with this ornament and again there is a lot of white here which is unshadable so we are going to run into the same issues as we did with the base look now here is a set i made with the boots to sort of show you what you want to go with when using the r3 treads ornaments now if you are interested in the gear the helmet is the lost pacific mask from the titan packages which are no longer in the game the arms are the siege break arms from the season of arrivals pass the chest is the kyo's heart ornament from the eververse archive and the cloak is the phenotype plasticity ornament from the season of undying pass and then the shade that goes over the whole armor set is metro shift which can drop from eververse engrams and can sometimes be sold in the brightest store so as you can see here this is sort of the look you want to go with i went with more of like a, a mixture between like a space hunter and like a, an astronaut because i saw what these boots give the look of from like the ornament they do look quite baggy but as you can see in preview they are completely fine now cloth can sort of work with this as you can see but I'd definitely try and get like the Kyo's heart ornament with it or even more of like the lost specific set they look really nice for this and yeah even the hold fast pieces don't look that bad as you can see I'm going to go with a lighter colour here and they do look pretty good with it so yeah I do hope this set like helps you out with what you need to like try and go for with these boots as I know a lot of people struggle to make these work in a set. Now in case any of you were wondering I'm going to show like a few shaders again with these boots. Now if you did skip ahead and are wondering how to get these shaders then they will all be linked in the description. So here's Carminica, Abyssinian Gold, Carbon Blood, Amethyst Veil, vale, Dawn Infestiveness, Crimson Valor, New Age, but personally I would just highly recommend using monochromatic or metro and if you do want them mostly black then use skeletal there isn't really too much you can do with this you could try a red or even like a grey and a blue but yeah guys that's pretty much the video I do really hope this helped you out in like improving your fashion with the stompies please give me feedback in the comments below for these videos I'd really appreciate you all like trying to help me improve these as I didn't really know how to approach it anyways guys I'll be making more of these so please comment down below the exotic you want to see and the most commented exotic I will pick. But yeah guys thank you all so so much for watching, stay safe and I'll see you on the next video.